to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Alright y'all, what is going on guys, and today we're back with another banger video in today's video. As you can tell by the title, we do have a DIY type video. So, I did make two projects recently. Well, one of them was like a project for school, but like I actually really like enjoyed the way it turned out. It was something I got to actually like, you know, freestyle with and kind of just like make my own. Whereas like, you know, normally when you get a project at school, you gotta, you know, do what... The project says this one was a little bit more like in my own design and then i also made one just when i was bored and i made like a beanie type thing so i figured i would show you guys both of these projects because a lot of you guys love when i do the diy videos and i know i haven't been doing a lot of them recently but it's just because you know i just have school and i just have to do school projects mainly and my sewing machine at home don't really work so i'm gonna try to fix it though and get back on my you know making pants shirts like making just cool designs and stuff and that's pretty much what i did with these two items right here so nonetheless if you're new to the channel make sure you take a second out of your day hit that subscribe button because we post every other day which is probably better than your favorite youtuber unless of course i'm your favorite youtuber now that all the talking is out of the way um let me just let me just show you guys the two items so we're gonna start off with the one that i did first and like the longest ago i guess which is only like a week or two ago basically this one right here is a bag that i made now this is the bag boom now you probably just see like you probably just looks like a box to y'all y'all probably like what even is that basically i had a jacket from fashion over right and for my project at school, we had to do like kind of like a, a upcycling, like zero waste, like, you know, just like the environmental friendly, like, you know, reuse something like something like that. Because, you know, that is a big thing in fashion right now. And, you know, Fashion Nova is a fast fashion brand. And I just, you know, instead of, you know, throwing it, throwing a jacket out that would go into a landfill or something like that, like, or just, you know, a jacket that doesn't get worn and just something like that. I figured I would repurpose it and make it into something I would actually wear. So I took a Fashion Nova jacket. You guys are probably going to see a bunch of clips that I'm going to play while I'm talking. So just sit back and relax. But you guys can see I did get a um, Fashion Nova jacket, basically. And I was inspired by Kilawa's bag. Um, from hunter hunter now i said inspired for a reason because i wasn't trying to replicate kilo his bag it was just like an inspiration i saw it was like a very small you know box bag on his back almost and then he had six straps now i wanted to do six straps on this bag but the amount of strap that i bought wasn't enough for six so i barely had enough for four so i wanted up doing four straps um, I, I do want to make a bag eventually though with six straps like kind of the way the way the kilo was is because I just think it looks really cool But another thing about this bag is besides the straps Obviously that is probably my favorite part like I love the way the straps look and just like I, I don't know I like the idea of like a strap here strap here then going all along the arms So yeah, you guys can probably see I think I took a clip of me wearing it So hopefully I did if not I'll do a little try on at the end But um, yeah, so that was with the straps now The reason I'm talking so much about this bag is because I don't know if any of you guys know like at least like the proper way to make bags and clothing and like shoes and anything that you want to make you always do like a mock-up and like you do a pattern you make patterns if you don't know what patterns are you it's basically like a cutout like a paper cutout of like leather pieces that you're gonna cut before you just start cutting stuff on your fabric so when i made the pattern again how this was like you know this was zero waste inspired bag it was one pattern piece so this whole pattern piece was just one big piece of fabric that i just folded into all the corners and stuff and then i sewed them all up and the bag is quilted and everything so it looks very good like you can't even tell that it's like all sewn right here and stuff so it's literally just a box and the way that the pattern worked was i just folded the pattern up i don't have the pattern because i handed it in as the project but basically it was just imagine like a big imagine like origami basically and like you just make a bag out of paper that's how my pattern basically was instead of just having like you know one piece of paper for the side one piece of paper for the front one piece of paper for the top and like it was just one big pattern piece instead of wasting all the materials and stuff cutting out all different types of paper and edges and all that it was just one piece so this was a very good you know sustainable zero waste type of bag that i made and i love it because i got to use everything i didn't have to buy a zipper for this it was the zipper from the jacket and it has like the little thing underneath so it protects the zipper as well so yeah I think this looks better than the jacket ever did and I just love the way it looks on and it's so cool It's so small and like perfect like it kind of reminds me of like a back bling from like Fortnite or something like that But regardless of that, I still love it. It looks really cool And that was just one of my favorite bags. I think I've ever made so let me know That was the first DIY thing that I did was that bag um, A lot of people were like yo Paul you need to make those bags you need to sell it one day I do plan on having my own brand one day I do want to, you know, have my own sneaker company with like, you know, sneakers, maybe some bags and stuff, maybe clothing here and there. But clothing is not my main thing. I don't really care for clothing like that. Like, obviously, I love clothing, but it's not like, like, I don't know. I feel like everybody wants to make T-shirts and hoodies. Like, that's so like the basic thing right now. I want to design sneakers. That's my main goal in life. I just want to design sneakers. But when I can make something cool like this, like a bag and little accessories, those are my favorite. I love that stuff. I love bags. I love sneakers. And I love hats as well so let's get into the second diy project i did so 
this one had nothing to do with school this was just i finished this project very early and i was like you know what i have time like i did all my final projects like a week two weeks early before they were actually due and i was like i have time like i don't i could either just not go to school and just sit at home and just wait until i have to present them or i could go to school and you know just work on my own stuff so i did take a I'm gonna put the picture up again. I did take a sweater from Fashion Over this time, and I actually posted on my Instagram story at paul.souls, so go follow me on Instagram if you're not. I put up three designs on my story of a beanie, and I was like, one, two, or three. And I was like, and I let you guys pick one, two, or three. The main ones were between number two and number three, so I'll put up the pictures again, number two right here, and then number three was that one. Now, a lot of people, it was like, it was probably like 50-50 between two and three. Two and three, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It was close, like it was really close. So I probably wound up making the third one as well, but I did make the second one. Now this one right here is a little bit outgoing. It's a little bit different. Not something, you know, I would normally make, but I like, like, I think it's cool. Again, I like different pieces. I like, I don't want to say like, I like being different. That sounds corny, but I like unique, like statement pieces. And I feel like this is definitely a statement piece. So um, I'll put up the clip of me wearing it and stuff, but I'll probably just put it on right now. But it is this beanie right here. So we did take the sweater, as I said, and we made this beanie. Now, the reason I really like this beanie, like I know it looks crazy and like goofy and like, I like that. I like the way it looks. So we have like the regular beanie. Like I cut out a regular beanie piece. Cool, I, I did that. Then I cut out the ear pieces on the side and I sewed them two together and then I sewed it to the beanie. And then one of the coolest parts, which I really wanna get goggle frames and I wanna like actually put goggles in these. But as you guys can see, I did make like a little thing underneath to like go around the eyes. So this could go around the eyes, but it's not like you don't have to wear it like that. I really just did that for like a fit pick. So hopefully on Instagram, at Paul Souls, I'll take a fit pick in this soon as well. But the reason I did it like this is kind of like a hanging piece off of the hat is so I can actually fold it in and I could wear it as a regular beanie. So it doesn't have to have like the goggles out. The goggles would literally, like, I would not rock, walk around with the goggles out. I'm sorry, that's just not me. I, don't, I wouldn't walk around with it out. But for a picture, yeah, I'll take a cool picture like me holding my face with like the goggles down. I feel like that'd be cool. But as a regular beanie, it looks tough. Like I like the way it looks. I like the droopy ears and it feels really nice. Like, and for a sweater, like the reason I picked that material, the sweater is because it reminded me of a beanie material and it has that stretch to it. So it actually fits like a beanie. And I think it came out really cool regard. Like if you like it like this, if you don't like the ears, cool. It's still a cool beanie print. Like I love this and sweater itself already had fraying pieces on it which i thought was the coolest thing so you got like all these frays hanging off of the the ears and like everything else and like just have frays hanging all over this hat which was already on the sweater so that's why i kind of picked that sweater to do it with because i was like yo that's that's already like a fire design like i love the way that the sweater looked already but i was like as a beanie like how can i make this piece that's already like kind of cool even cooler and i was like i feel like this is definitely the way and i just wanted to make a beanie so maybe i'll make another beanie who knows um and yeah again you could fold in the goggles fold them out if you want but yeah let me know rate that one one out of ten rate the bag again put the bag in the comment section put one through ten rate it and then for the beanie one through ten rate it i don't know i just wanted to make two different designs like i feel like people are gonna hate on it or call it whatever but i don't really care like i really don't care it's my designs I like the way that they look and it's something different. I'm tired of seeing the same things all on Instagram, same beanies, same sweatshirts, same t-shirts, same puffer print, same this, same that. It's just like, bro, it's so repetitive. Like, I just want to see, like, I just want to make different things, be unique, make weird things. They don't have to always be like the most cool. Like, it doesn't have to always fit everybody's eye, basically. Like, I just want to make pieces that like kind of standalone pieces, if that makes sense. So I feel like these two are definitely pieces. Now, don't get it twisted. There's definitely hats with these ears on. Like, obviously I took inspiration from things, but yeah. And as I was saying before, I do want to get like goggle lenses lenses and put them in there if that makes sense so maybe on the next one this is just all me literally playing around with the sewing machine but again as i said one day in the future hopefully i'll have my own brand and i won't have to you know i won't be making it by hand like i'll just be making the designs on like the ipad on adobe and all that stuff and i'll send it out to factories and i'll get it actually made and then we'll have like i have all you guys be copying it and stuff so uh yeah, that, that was pretty much my two designs. Let me know which one you like the best. Rate them both one through 10. And uh, if there's anything you guys want to see me do, if you want me to actually record like the whole process and show you how to make these specific items or like just in the future, any designs that I make, let me know if you'd be interested in those type of videos. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. We out. Brr, bow. I'm on a road, I can't get caught. I'm a bit different stage. My mama blowing on my phone, seeing if I'm okay. Uh, I had to get up out the hood, find another way. Uh, started rapping, moved my mama out the PJ. Knocking on, no, no, knocking on. Knocking on, no, no, knocking on. Knocking on, no, no, knocking on. Knocking on, same thing. I wanna rage, I wanna rage, I wanna rage. No, no, drop me insane, she's insane, she drop me insane.